The City of Markham has been busy since 2009 preparing for the development and then implementation of its comprehensive Emerald Ash Borer Management Plan. If you haven't heard about the Emerald Ash Borer, commonly known as EAB, you may have noticed considerable activity during the spring and summer seasons over the last three years. City staff have been mapping ash tree locations, creating a citywide inventory of the trees, and assessing their condition for treatment or removal. My name is Barbara Bickey. I'm the manager of Parks and Forestry at the City of Markham. With me is Peter Shields, the City's Forestry Supervisor. Some Markham residents may not be familiar with what EAB is, or how to tell if they have an ash tree on or near their property. If they do have ash trees on their private property, they may not know what they should do about it. Peter, can you share some of your technical expertise with us about how to identify an ash tree? Sure. Uh, this is an ash tree in behind us here, and as we can see, it's infested with emerald ash borer. Let's start with how to identify an ash tree. First of all, the ash tree is very common throughout Ontario. It was widely planted as an attractive, hardy, and fast-growing tree. There are three key things that help identify the ash. You can see ridged, diamond-shaped bark of the ash tree's trunk, and that ridging is what sets it apart. Ash trees have compound leaves with five to seven leaflets per cluster, and what we also call opposite branching arrangement. I should also mention that the mountain ash is not a true ash and therefore is not at risk of EAB. The damage caused to trees by this small shiny green emerald ash borer is staggering. This tiny beetle is a very invasive pest. This means it was transported into Canada from another country, likely on firewood or packaging. In Canada, EAB has no natural predators and lots of ash trees to thrive on. It has already killed upwards of 100 million trees in the United States since its detection. Upon learning of the progress of EAB, Markham took action. In 2008, York Region was added to the quarantined area by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, the federal agency responsible for regulating EAB. In 2011, the CFIA officially confirmed the presence of EAB in Markham. Within a year, we had identified and mapped the locations of city ash trees on our streets and in our parks. The inventory of city ash trees identified about 17,000 trees. All of these trees are at risk. EAB infestation is a huge issue, not only locally, but also across Ontario and now into Quebec. So, how can we tell that a tree is infested with EAB? Common signs and symptoms include yellowing of leaves, dead branches, new shoots sprouting from the trunk, cracking or peeling bark, and woodpecker activity. In late summer, you can sometimes spot the emerging adult beetle. Check for the telltale D-shaped exit holes. Between the months of June and August, the beetle is actively flying and busy laying eggs on the tree bark. EAB larvae eats the living tissue, called the cambium, found between the bark and the wood. Eventually, the tunneling cuts off the nutrient flow within the tree. The trees become very brittle and quickly die. It's important to remember that ash trees on private property are the responsibility of the property owner. They must do whatever is necessary to prevent potential risk to people and property. Anyone who identifies an ash tree on their private property, whether it appears to be healthy or not, needs to call a qualified arborist right away to discuss treatment and removal options. Markham's EAB management plan for city ash trees on streets and in parks is responsive and effective. Markham has also benefited from active and engaged residents, many of whom have been involved in Markham's Trees for Tomorrow program and Leafs Backyard Tree Planting program. Our plan is to preserve and invest in our tree canopy while battling the EAB infestation. In 2013, the city made efforts to maintain and treat healthy public ash trees. We are hard at work delivering on Markham's EAB management plan. Each year, we are reassessing the condition of all the city ash trees. We are also treating healthy trees and removing the dead and dying ones. Markham has done a good job of identifying city ash trees that are viable candidates for treatment. Like other communities impacted by EAB, Markham is rebuilding its tree canopy by replacing all the trees removed. 
It will take years for impacted communities to remove the affected trees and replant a diverse urban forest. But the benefits trees give us are well worth it.